Hello, my name is Father Jacob Rouse, and I'm the pastor of Notre Dame Parish in Cresco, Iowa. For today's Corona Minute, I would like to talk uh, about sacraments again, my favorite thing. Um, and I guess I'm doing a series now. Um, last time I talked about uh, the sacrament of anointing of the sick, what it is, what it isn't, when you should um, ask for it. And today I'd like to talk about confession, which is one of my favorite things to do as a priest and to have done to me. So first off, um, I have a house cleaner named Kelly. Hi, Kelly. She does a wonderful job. Today is the assumption, or no, the um, solemnity of the assumption. Today is the solemnity of the Annunciation, which is a great feast day, and it just happens to be the day that um, Kelly comes to clean every two weeks. I used to feel shame and guilt and uh, pride when I was a seminarian, and we had house cleaners that would do various things for us. Um, and as I've grown into priesthood, I realized that not only is this good, this is giving someone a job, um, it also is a great act of humility on my part to say, I need help. I can't manage this. Um, because, yes, how, how hard is it to sweep your floors and dust and stuff? But, you know, that stuff piles up, and it's great to have someone to help you. So every two weeks, Kelly comes, and I just go home to this wonderfully clean house. It's a reset. It's a wonderful feeling. I just feel like everything's in its place, and it, it, it feels great. Um, I also have a rule with myself um, that when I come into my house, I take off my shoes so that I don't track in mud, sand, salt, whatever it is from the outside world. But that rule starts to lax as those two weeks go and as things start to pile up and I start to ignore things and let dishes and laundry pile up. Um, and then as I'm rushing in, I forgot a book or I forgot my lunch or I need to run back and forth from school to church to office to my house. I just think, ah, oh, I'll just leave my shoes on and run in. Then I'm starting to track dirt in everywhere, and then that slowly starts to build up. So now, it's a reset. This Thursday, I'm now, when I get home, I'm going to take my shoes off, and we'll see how long that lasts until the next cleaning time. Uh, so um, this acknowledges that I need help, and I can't imagine what it's like to have a family, like be, in a, uh, be married with laundry and uh, dishes and, and kids too, you know, so um, I can only imagine that. But um, I need help to stay organized and I need help to stay, keep everything clean, so that's why I ask. The same is true for the sacrament of penance. That's technically what it's called, the sacrament of penance, the rite of penance, the rite, R-I-T-E, is how we do things. Penance comes from a uh, Latin word that means to be sorry. So another term we'll call it is reconciliation because in the sacrament of reconciliation, man is being reconciled with God and receiving his forgiveness. Remember that re reconciliation does not always happen between humans. Um, sometimes that person is dead or you'll never talk to them again or they don't want to talk to you. You can still forgive them in your heart, but reconciliation is not always going to happen. Jesus commands us to forgive people and reconciliation is an added bonus. So in the sacrament, God and woman and humanity, the human and God are reconciled and he forgives us. We also call it um, confession just because, hey, uh, I'm going to be in confessional or, hey, can you hear my confession? That kind of thing is just kind of easier, rolls off the tongue. Um, so I made this video to encourage you um, to come to confession. Um, you don't get your oil changed just before a, a big vacation, a big road trip. Um, you do it periodically. You do it throughout the year so that you can have a healthy and happy car. Um, and in the same way, uh, you don't keep walking on a broken bone. Well, I know some of my uncles probably would just ignore it, just take ibuprofen. No, they didn't even do that. Um, if you break a bone or get something or if something's wrong with you, um, it's tempting to just say, no, no, I just, just gonna, don't, I don't want to let the doctor in. But it's uncomfortable to go to the doctor and to expose yourself and to open yourself up and make yourself vulnerable so that the doctor can look at you, look at your body and figure out what's wrong and help to heal you. Same is true for confession. You're opening up your hood at an oil change. You're opening up your body and whatever it is that's wrong with you at the doctor. You're opening up your heart and your soul. Yes, I'm there. Yes, Jacob is there. But it's really a conversation between God when I put that stole on, which means that I have the authority to loose and bind sins. Um, you're talking to God right there. I'm just a conduit. I'm just a vessel. Um, and it's beautiful. Uh, I don't remember much. Uh, so when someone will come and say, yep, Father, I have the same sins as last time. I'll say, well, can, can you help me out? I really don't. 
no, not many of my parishioners are important enough for me to remember their sins. I'm more interested in the good things that they accomplish and do. Um, so if you think that it's been too long, I don't, I, it's, it's been too long. I, I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm scared. Um, I don't want to go back. It's been years. Um, come, come back anyway, you know, come. It's the story of the prodigal son all over again. Um, and I, it's not that I want to hear your dirty little secrets, even though I will. Um, like I said, I don't remember them. And under the penalty of the seal of confession and under the penalty of losing my faculties as a priest, I will not and cannot speak about anything that I hear in the confessional. So sometimes I say, hey, can you contact me another time and we can talk about this further? And, you know, because I'm not going to bring it up to you. <laughs> um, um, <clears throat> you're not wasting my time. Uh, you cannot shock me with anything you can serve up. And uh, you will be treated only with gentleness, with joy, and with mercy. It's not that I want to hear all your secrets. It's I want to be a vessel and I want to bestow and be a, a bridge to God's healing, mercy, and love. So I can just tell my sins to God at home, though, right? I, I do that. I tell God my sins every single day and review my day and think about what I've done wrong. Um, so, yeah, you can do that, sure. Um, I can also, every day, I feast on the Word of God, which is my bread, my daily bread. But there's something about the Catholic sacraments that are not just spiritual, not just internal. They are external and physical. How great is it? Yes, you can read scripture and yes, you can tell God your sins in the privacy of your own chapel home. But how great is it to go forward and receive that simple, tiny little host that contains the creator of the universe? It's a physical representation of a spiritual reality. Sacraments are an efficacious sign and reconciliation is one of the healing sacraments. Here's a list of sacraments. How great is it to go to confession and and have just the, the simple hands laying over you of the priest saying, "Your I absolve you of your sins. Go in peace. Like, it, it's just such a, a great release. It's a physical representation of a spiritual reality, an efficacious sign. That's what sacraments are. Um, so I have, I'm in the confessional 45 minutes before every single mass, daily and weekend. There's a curtain there. You can come in and it can be anonymous too. Um, don't be afraid. Don't listen to that voice that says, just keep letting the McDonald's wrappers and empty soda cups pile up in the back of your car. Just keep letting, letting the dirt on your shoes. Just keep wearing your shoes in the house. Just let it all pile up. Don't worry about it. No, come, come and be free. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, I just want to share with you the the joy and mercy that I've experienced in the sacrament with you. Um, also, one more note. I'll link the video that I made about this earlier. There is no such thing as uh, the act of contrition. There's no such thing as the act of contrition. The priest says, could you please make an act of contrition? Notice the word an, A-N. There is the Our Father and the Hail Mary and the Creed. There is many any variation of act of contrition basically all it is you don't have to have that thing memorized so many times people have come in and said oh father i can't remember i mean, that's another thing that's another barrier of nervousness that keeps you from coming in all you have to say is lord jesus christ have mercy on me a sinner that is an act of contrition you could say heavenly father i i messed up i want to do better and i know i can with your help that is an act of contrition and that will make your priest day if you just say those words um I mean, now's the time, you know, come to confession. I'm talking to you. If you think that maybe you're you're one of those who hasn't been in years or thinks it's been too long, don't listen to that voice. Um, come in, be free, clean your soul, and go wash your hands.